Here in the topic of permutation, let us see the problem. Find r if 10 p r plus 1 is to 11 p r is equal to 30 is to 11. In the previous video, we have already discussed a formula for the topic permutation that can that formula we are going to use here and that formula is n p r is equal to n factorial y n minus r whole factorial. So with the help of this formula, we can write 10 p r plus 1 in this form n is here 10 and in place of r we are getting r plus 1. So if you use this formula, we can get here this is 10 factorial divided by 10 minus r minus 1. Uh, you can understand like this also no problem. Okay. This is in the form of n factorial n is 10 by n minus r factorial in place of r here we are having r plus 1 so we are writing r plus 1 in place of r correct is to 11 pr means 11 factorial upon 11 minus r factorial this is equal to 30 by 11 okay now let us simplify it to get the value of r so this is or this is 10 factorial by this is 10 minus r minus 1 means 9 minus r factorial 9 minus r whole factorial and this ratio this division can be written as in multiplication also so this will become numerator so 11 minus r factorial by 11 factorial this is equal to 30 by 11 okay now let us simplify it let us simplify we can simplify it very easily so this is 10 factorial into here we must see that 11 minus r factorial is a greater number than 9 minus r factorial so it has to be expanded like this this is 11 minus r into 10 minus r into 9 minus r whole factorial how we have written like this because in 9 minus r factorial we are having all the multiplications from 1 to 9 minus r and this is into 10 minus r into 11 minus r so this is multiplication from 1 to 11 minus r so that is equal to 11 minus r factorial okay and here in denominator we are having on 9 minus r factorial into this 11 factorial can be written as 11 into 10 factorial so that this 10 factorial and 10 factorial will be cancel out and this 9 minus r factorial will be cancel out here this is equal to 30 by 11 now let us simplify it we have to multiply 11 minus r and 10 minus r and by cross multiplication we can simplify it further so this is 11 minus r into 10 minus r that will be equal to r square minus 21r plus 110 this is equal to 30 by 11 correct and we will multiply this expression sorry we are having here 11 also so this denominator 11 will be cancelled out or if we transpose this 30 to left hand side we will be getting this is r square minus 21 r and 110 minus 30 when 30 will be transposed to this side we will get plus 80 is equal to 0 now we have to factorize this quadratic equation and after factorization we will get the value of r from here so there is a process of factorization that this middle term should be splitted into two parts such that after addition or subtraction the value remains same i mean minus 21 r and after multiplication of these two split up parts should be equal to product of first and last term means 80 r square okay so this can be written as r square minus 16 r minus 5 r plus 80 this is equal to 0 you see minus 16 r minus 5 r this is nothing but minus 21 r and product of these two is equal to 80 r square means product of first and last term 80 r square minus 16 r minus 5 r is product of these two is again 60 sorry 80 r square 
So we have to take care of this thing. That is a process of splitting the middle term while we factorize the quadratic equation. Okay. So now let us take r common from first two terms. We are getting here r will be common, r minus 16, and from last two term we can take 5 common. So minus 5 r minus 16. This is equal to 0. Now r minus 16 will be common from these two terms. So we can write r minus 16 into r minus 5 is equal to 0. r minus 16 is common and from here we are writing r and from here minus 5. So here product of these two factors is 0. It means either this part will be 0 or this part will be 0. Okay. So when r minus 16 will be 0 then r is equal to 16. Follow it? When r minus 16 is equal to 0, then r is equal to 16. And if r minus 5 is equal to 0, r minus 5 is equal to 0, we will get r is equal to 5. But we must note here that r should not be greater than n. Here in place of n, we are having here 10 and 11. So value of r should not be greater than 11 or even should not be greater than 10 here. Okay. So this value of r which is 16 is not acceptable because this value of r is becoming greater than the value of n. 10 and 11 is n here. Okay. So value of r will be finally r is equal to 5. So this is the answer. Correct. So very simple. We can do these problems. Problems are very interesting. So you do some more practices so that you could have a good command over this topic. Thank you for watching this video.